Hi guys, Chef Rhonda here again. Welcome back to Carrie Lily's Kitchen. Today we'll be making two things for you. First, we'll be making a Jamaican favorite, Escobie's fish, and also Carrie Lily's famous yellow rice. We're gonna get started with seasoning our fish, but before we do, I just want to let you know that today we'll be using poggies, but you can use basically any type of fish for this dish. Um, the really famous fish that's used for escabiche is snapper, red snapper, but like I said, you can use any type of fish. I specifically like to use poggies because poggies is a really flaky, juicy fish that captures the marination. So today we'll be using puggies, okay? Um, our fish, as you can see, it's already washed. It was washed with vinegar, lime, salt. So we got all the impurities out and it's ready for seasoning now. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It was cleaned, washed with lime, vinegar, and salt. And that really helps to get all the impurities, you know, the, the sea freshness out of the fish. So let's get started with our seasoning. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do for our seasoning is add the lime juice. And this is fresh lime, okay? This is about a lime and a half, so we're gonna put that in it, all over it. Okay, and after we get that, the next thing we're gonna do is add some fresh ginger, some grated ginger. I would say it's about a teaspoon, okay? Just take a second to rub all this in. Okay. The next thing we're gonna add is some is some adobo. This is basically like if you add in salt, but for us, for me, I prefer to use adobo as opposed to salt. Um, it has a little more spice and it doesn't have as much sodium as the regular salt. Okay. And I would say this is about a tablespoon of adobo. gonna rub that inside the fish as well make sure everything gets inside because we want it to taste really good and as you can see we did put some slit you know like some cuts on the fish and that also helps with the seasoning to marinate really well so just a quick note on that you can see the cuts on both sides so this will really go in the marination will go in properly okay so I'm just gonna take a minute to just rub in everything right now that we added I'm gonna finish up with my adobo so that was about a tablespoon of adobo, okay? Just make sure everything is inside, goes in. The next thing I'm gonna add is about a half a teaspoon of paprika. This is just gonna give it a little color. Okay, and same thing, we're gonna, we're gonna just take a minute to just rub it in on both sides of the fish. And we're gonna add some garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Just put it all over the fish again and rub it in again. Make sure it goes all the way in on each one of the fish. And then we're gonna add a little bit of ground pimento pepper. Okay, you can also use the peppercorn pimento but I, I like spices, so I'm gonna use the ground pimento, okay? So we're gonna add that all over the fish. And again, we're gonna rub it in. Take a second to rub everything in. And last but not least, we're gonna use our Carrie Lily's famous green seasoning. This saves us tons of prep and time. You know, it has everything in here you would need that you would spend time cutting up. And this is our famous curry lily green seasoning, okay? So, and I would say this is about maybe two, two and a half tablespoon, okay? So we're gonna put this all over the fish. Make sure some of it get inside as well. Okay. Come back to that if we need it. And I'm just gonna take a second to rub this inside the fish. Make sure it gets in the slits that we have on the fish on both sides. So when it 
and cook. It will cook really good. You can taste the seasoning inside of it. And with this fish, you don't really need to over season it because when we add the condiment, the um, onion and so on later, and the veggies and the vinaigrette saute sauce, it's gonna give it a lot of flavor. So this is a light seasoning. This is not a whole lot of seasoning. This is basically a really light seasoning, but it's enough to make it get, you can tell it's the fish is seasoned properly. And what you do, you put it on, make sure it goes through on both sides, including the inside of it too, you know? And I'm gonna show you what the fish looks like now. I'm gonna let this marinate, I would say for about at least a couple of hours, okay? So now we're gonna see what the fish looks like. See, it's seasoned here, and it smells really great. So we're gonna let it sit for about an hour to two hours of marination. We're gonna move on to making our yellow rice. The first thing I have done here, we have about three and a half to four cups of rice. Um, it has been washed and picked, so any like stones or anything that's not supposed to be in the rice has been taken out. And what I'm gonna do now is add some water to it and put it to a boil, okay? added the water to the rice so the next step we're gonna do is add the coloring that's gonna give us that magical yellow color okay so the first thing we're gonna do we already have the water in the rice and we use one pack of Goya Sassoon this is a magical seasoning and it also gives us that perfect yellow coloring so for the amount of rice we have we did, um, one pack should be enough okay so we're gonna add this in here and then we're just going to go straight to the stove and bring it to a boil. Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to our final step of yellow rice. Our yellow rice has been cooked and you know, strained. So now we're gonna do the final step for it, okay? The first thing we're gonna do, the pot is already heated. So we're gonna add some olive oil. I would say probably about a tablespoon of olive oil. And the next thing we're gonna do is add, we have some chopped parsley and garlic that's minced up. We're gonna add this in. I'm just gonna let that fry down on a low fire, like maybe about a, a low to medium. Okay guys, so this is our final product of our yellow rice. As you can see, the color is very pretty. You can see the herbs and it smells amazing if I must say. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the fish for frying. But just so you know, the coating consists of all-purpose flour, adobo, ground clove, and a dash of paprika. get to our final stage of our escabeze fish i just want to take a second to just show you guys all of the things we have here cut up and prepped so we have our onions 
We have our habanero peppers. We didn't have scotch bonnet, but you could use scotch or habanero. We have our pimento peppers, our bell peppers, red and green, and our carrots cut in julienne style, okay? And as you can see also, we have our fish. It's fried really crispy, and that's how you want it to be. So what we're gonna do now, we already have our pot heating up here. It's on a low fire. So we're gonna go in with some olive oil, first of all. Not a lot, I would say probably about a teaspoon, a tablespoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're just gonna throw that in the pot. Put in the bell peppers. We want to make sure that the heart of vegetable goes in first. So we're gonna put that in. And I'm just gonna go right ahead and put in our pimento peppers that's chopped up as well, and our onion. Okay, so we got all our cut, all our veggies in and the onion. Next thing we're gonna go in is with a little bit of adobo, which is gonna give it like a little sodium, a little taste, the taste. This is about a half a teaspoon. See that color is so pretty. And then we have about a lime and a half of lime juice here. We're gonna add this in now. And then we have about a tablespoon of vinegar. We're gonna put the vinegar in also now. Okay guys, as you can see, we added all of our veggies and our onions. So we have onions, the um, habanero peppers, bell peppers, the carrots. You don't want it to cook too much because you want it to be sort of crunchy. And right now this is actually perfect texture. I am gonna go in also with, a, with about a half a teaspoon of ground pimento, okay? So this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna add in here. All right, and we're just gonna give that a little stir. Okay guys, so this is our yellow rice and our escovise fish. As you can see, it's completed. It looks really pretty together and it smells wonderful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for weekly videos.